What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today, we finally got the carbon fiber steering wheel. I ordered this from Carbontastic and it took about 10 weeks because of COVID apparently. So, now to open it. All right, so, packaged in foam. All right. So, it comes packaged like this. Oh, there's stickers. Alright. I always get these stickers for all the mods I get, but I never know where to put them, so I just keep them. If you guys need them, let me know. Alright. Has a little letter. So apparently, whenever you order a steering wheel from Carbontastic, they make it by hand and I guess that is the reason why it took 10 weeks. So I mean just from this, it looks really nice, <laughs> so let's open this up. Ooh. <laughs> that is nice. Alright, so when I ordered this, it was a full replacement so all I have to do for this one is probably just take out the stock one and then replace it completely with this and then it should be good so it has all the buttons and in the back there's little grooves where you can stick your hand in it it's more uh, ergonomic I think the word is yeah so mine came with a little black racing strap right here I'm not sure if you guys can catch that but man this looks awesome <laughs> so, I usually drive with my hands around this area, right here, so I think it's going to be a lot more comfortable. And the reason why i am changing this, the original steering wheel is because, because I hold it right here so much, it got faded. I'll show you guys when I get back into the car. So for now, let's go to the car and start installing this. I'm going to start off by taking off the battery just so that the airbag doesn't deploy. Okay, so for this, I'm going to take off the positive terminal to make it uh, uncharged. Be careful when you're taking out this uh, uh, bolt because if you hit this and this at the same time, it'll cause a spark. So just be careful. All right. Okay, and then now we should be good to take out the steering wheel. All right guys, so we're here in the car and there's a little hole right there in, behind the steering wheel. It requires a T25 uh, bit. It kind of looks like a star. That's what you use to take off the airbag. So, so it's on both sides. So let me do the other one too. This makes life so much simpler. Okay, so now we're going to take off the horn slash airbag. And how you do that is you just pull up from here. There is going to be a little bit of resistance because there are plugs that you're going to have to unplug. All right, so here's the airbag slash the horn. When you're unscrewing the sides, right here, and you can't really see it here, but right here, you're actually unbolting right here. So the screw, can't really tell if you guys can see that, but there's a screw right here and right here that's holding the horn in. So now we're going to unbolt this screw or this bolt, which is a 17 millimeter. So for this bolt, you're going to need extensions. I'm just using my breaker bar and uh, an extension and a long socket. 
And the reason why you need an extension is because if you put it on a regular socket wrench, you can't really turn it because that's all that it'll, it'll go in. If you hit here and here, there's no point in using that. So here's the extension and the socket. All right, so after you get the nut out, you can actually use an impact gun to take it out. It's a 17 millimeter. Uh, you're supposed to use all your strength to pull this out and I'm afraid to break it, but here we go. And I messed up. All right guys, so I pulled a little too hard. I think I broke my clock spring and that's what controls the volume, the all these little buttons that are on the steering wheel. So I'm probably gonna have to get a replacement for that, but I'll be using the carbon fiber steering wheel for now. That's disheartening. So I guess one way that could have prevented that is if you unplug this portion, which is connected to the clock spring right here. So when it's inside, it's connected, and I guess that when I pulled it out, that's what caused the whole thing to come out. And as you can see, that's how my clock spring is right now. So I'm most likely going to have to get a replacement for that. Don't pull too hard, or you just could pull out this plug before you pull out the steering wheel. Yep, learn from my mistake. That looks amazing. And because my car has so much carbon fiber, I think it's a perfect match to my car. Okay, so... I'm gonna put the plugs through, then line up the hole right there. Okay, and that's in. Let's see. So, there are two plugs right here which are for the airbag and I'm gonna try connecting the new plug that connects to the clock spring. Might have been easier if I did that while the steering wheel is off. Let's see. Alright, there it is. So you could do this with an impact gun, but I didn't feel like taking it out. So here we are. So if you are if you don't have an impact gun, all you have to do is hold the steering wheel and then tighten the nut. All right, that should be good. Now for the airbag. Okay, so now that we have the steering wheel installed, we're gonna have to plug these two wires back in. So here we go. I'll plug in the yellow one first. Okay, so as soon as you plug the backward backside in, this should pop forward. And the black uh, plug should plug into this little metal thing. Awkward angle. All right, so it's plugged in now. I don't want to scratch any of the carbon fiber with the metal bits. So, all right, that's in. Now we're gonna Put it in really safely. All right. All right, now we just tighten the two sides. Then the steering wheel should be fully installed. So I'll start right here. Steering wheel's sturdy. And so is the horn. All right, and it still works. Everything presses down fine. Now we're going to reconnect the battery and hopefully the airbag doesn't blow. All right, so back to the trunk. Back in the trunk and I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter to tighten the battery down. All right, so be careful, don't shock yourself. And try to hold it by the rubber portion. All right, so it's going to throw some sparks. All right, and you can tell if the 
the batteries connect properly, so the trunk light should come on. All right. So I'm gonna use the same extension as earlier. That probably would have been smarter to use. So you don't touch this portion. All right, so while I was putting in the battery, I didn't hear any pops or explosions. So I think we should be good. Batteries in. All right, so we're done in the trunk and let's go check out in the front. To start up the car, see if anything's wrong. All right guys, so just installed the steering wheel and it looks amazing. So I'm gonna turn on the car and let's see how it goes. <laughs> That's so nice. Oh man, that feeling. All right, so I think I held the previous stock version of the steering wheel too much right here. So it completely faded. But since it's a aftermarket steering wheel and it's carbon fiber, it's not going to fade. So when you buy this steering wheel from Carbontastic, you get to decide if you want carbon fiber, dry carbon fiber, and then I think there was one other option, but I opted for the gloss carbon fiber on both sides. And then I think you get to choose from those options with this little, uh, this panel portion. And I, of course, I did the same thing because if you do it a different matte, I'm not sure if it's matte or if it's car dry carbon, but I think it was dry carbon. So, I mean, if you're gonna get carbon fiber in one color, might as well make the whole thing the same color. And I opted for a black racing stripe because my car is black and I don't know, I just wanted it to flow better. So right now, the black, Stripe is uh, pointed forward. I think uh, it should be straight. So let's test that right now. Yeah, it's straight. Oh. So just from that initial little drive, it's a lot thicker so you feel more of the road I guess here let me reverse it again yeah that feels so much better all right All right, so finished installing the aftermarket steering wheel. I think it looks amazing. I haven't been able to do a reaction video because everything was closed and I was afraid to go back up just in case there was a fire. So I promise you guys that I will upload a, a reaction video with the steering wheel, the short shifter, and the strut bars. So you guys can look forward to that and I probably will do a couple more mods before I do that. So I apologize in advance, but don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Later!